Welcome to the Cincinnati Zoo. Came back here to see the elephants. They are not working right now. So I guess I got the elephants inside. Sometimes you can go into the building. I don't know if you can do that right now and see all the elephants inside the uh, elephant house. So we'll see if we can check that out. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. We do these kind of fun adventures all the time. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Let's have some fun. So one thing I wanted to bring up in an effort to get a lot more people vaccinated, Cincinnati Zoo is holding a special event. If you get your vaccine today, they're giving away free tickets. They're really trying to push the vaccine. So uh, it's, it's awful nice of the zoo to do that. And to show if you're coming to get your vaccine, I don't know if they're gonna do this past this day, but this entrance down here by the world of insects is where they're doing the vaccines. So. Okay, I have Miss Virginia Scott here with me from the Cincinnati Health Department. She is part of the COVID-19 vaccination thing going on here at the Cincinnati Zoo. How was the turnout today? Yeah, the turnout was excellent. As your city nursing director, I just want to say that we started out with just a handful on the schedule and we probably tripled that now. Wow. And I'm really excited about that. Bringing both vaccines has now been one of our new key points. So the first we used to start our vaccine events off with just one vaccine and we know that certain people they want choice you know we're in america everybody wants choice that's right <laughs> so um we do have both vaccines as of right now we're probably only going to be here today but um i'm looking to talk to the zoo leadership and see if we can come back um our number one goal is as you turn around and look at all the families they know that the mask mandate is moved however we do know that covid is still out there so we just want to make sure that if we have families out here that we can keep them safe we want to be the one as your public health leaders to make sure that that happens. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us here for a little bit on Adventures with Dan O. Yeah. And uh, hope the hope they keep coming. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Everybody needs to get vaccinated. That's right. Well, how cool was that? Getting to talk to the Cincinnati Nursing Director, Virginia Scott. Really awesome. Uh, it's a great thing what they're doing here at the zoo. I, I hope they do it again. And they're getting a free ticket into the zoo, so it's, it's a win-win. Really love what the nurses are doing. It's a great thing. It's nice that they were able to partner for a day with the Cincinnati Zoo. Hopefully they can do it again. They are all really nice people down here. I talked to a few of them, and, and they are just so, so welcoming, and, and they really appreciate everybody coming down here to try and conquer this virus completely. Let's knock it out of the park. I love what the Cincinnati Zoo is doing, giving out free tickets to come here, you know, get your vaccine. A lot of people have come to get it today, so it did work. You know, it is working. Well, gorgeous day here at the Cincinnati Zoo. You're on Adventures with Dano. We're gonna adventure around the zoo today. Let's have some fun. Wanted to show here as we come up on the giraffe paddock, they have reopened where you can feed the giraffes. They give you some food there. I think it costs a little bit of money, a few bucks, but you can feed the giraffes out here. It's really cool. It's a really long line, so I'm not gonna do that today. Some of my favorite animals here at the Cincinnati Zoo. <laughs> These are my favorite. Uh, <laughs> he says, I'm hungry too. <laughs> this one looks like he's sleeping right here. The time out. Yeah. <laughs> if we look over here, you can see where everybody is getting to feed the hungry giraffes. The zoo is really packed today. I'm gonna get as much footage as I can. Uh, I don't, you know, th this zoo is on a nice day like this. It's about 75 degrees, not too much humidity. And I'll tell you what, when it's a day like this, this place is packed. Every time I come here, this guy's asleep. Every time. <laughs> he gets his nap in right about the same time I get here, I guess. Have a nice nap, buddy. I was hoping because it's a little cooler out today, the lion would be a little more active. That's not the case. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying all of our zoo videos. If you happen to miss one, you can check our playlist. If you go to our homepage, Adventures with Dano, go to the playlist, and I have a entire playlist of Cincinnati Zoo videos, so check that out. Got some little meerkats over here. If you're not familiar what a meerkat is, that's what Timon is in The Lion King. See, we got a bunch of bunch of little Timons. They're cute little guys. 
See one standing proud up top there. Here comes Fiona the happy hippo. Hello, girl. It's not? I think it is. Yeah, that's Bibby's down there, I think. Bibby is her mom. I wanted to show off the cheetah back here. I don't know how well I can get her there. There she is. She keeps going behind the waterfall here. If we zoom out, check out this beautiful waterfall. It's absolutely gorgeous. There she is. She's staying in the shade. Okay, we're back here by the Base Camp Cafe where normally you can go inside some air conditioning and get something to eat. And actually, you know what? It looks like it is open. At least the door's open, but as you can tell here, the crowds are massive. So I may not be staying here too long. Over here across from the train here at the zoo, they got this soft serve ice cream root beer. I'm going to see if I can just get a root beer. That sounds pretty good. And I did check. Base Camp Cafe is back open. I forgot that all they have is mug root beer. Barks root beer is my favorite. I'm not a huge fan of mug root beer, so I got a Pepsi. It's delicious. Okay, I wanted to show you they have a little Dippin' Dots stand here right across from the train. They have these cool little souvenirs here. A little elephant, a little sloth, uh, some kind of parrot guy, and some penguins. Different little Cincinnati Zoo stuff here. Got some hats. And all the plushes are $20 or two for 35 so that's a pretty good deal. On our way out of here later, we might stop into the big zoo shop that they have up in the front. Lots of cool souvenirs and stuff like that. We'll probably go up there on our way out. That looks like they're all napping today. This is the Andean black bear. He looks like he's starting to wake up. <laughs> I'm not really here at a good time. This At this time, it's about 2.30 in the afternoon and most of the animals are gonna be asleep. So, not a very good time to come to the zoo. Uh, I would recommend right as they open or try staying till about 4.30, I think 5 o'clock is when they close. You might check the day that you come. But, uh, yeah, about 4.30, it seems like they start, you know, getting a little more active. Really early in the morning, though, is the best time to come. And here we have a sleeping rhino. Let's go check out the manatees. Here we got the American alligator. He's sleeping too. And I had a feeling this was going to be a big crowd in here. I'll do my best. Oh. <laughs> well, there's a little baby one. He's a tiny little guy. I don't know what fish this is here. Look at that. He is so small. Hey, that's one of the zoo babies. He's like eating into the ground there. So I love this rock taste. These are all babies. I don't know where the mom is. She's huge. She's like as big as this tank. Oh, look at that. Happy little guys. Yeah, these are babies. Wow. Here we got a manatee skeleton. That's kind of creepy. You got the manatees all over here, and then, hey, come look what they look like without their skin. Cool looking, though. I'll tell you what, when it's really hot out here, going into the manatee area there, it is nice and cool. They have the air on. I think they do need to have somebody in there kind of directing traffic, though. Not so much traffic, but those, the uh, manatee skeleton that they have there, there's signs everywhere that say, do not touch. Of course, there's hundreds of kids touching it. Uh, I don't have a problem with it, but it's a, it's a scale. I don't know if it's actual fossils or if it's just handmade. It looks real, but yeah, pretty cool. I love the manatees. Kind of surprised we didn't see the adults. Uh, there's, there's two adults that I know of. They're not in there. Uh, so I guess they had three babies. Okay, so I've showed this in other videos, but I wanted to show you right past the manatee area. If you come down the hill to your right, they have these food trucks. There's a chicken shack, a taco place hamburgers 
and a little dessert place over here. We've tried it all. All the food's pretty good. I'm not too big on the hamburger. It's just a frozen hamburger. You know, it's not that great. Uh, the tacos are good. The chicken place is what I recommend. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. The chicken is perfect. They cook it perfectly. And the little sweet shop that they have with the ice cream and stuff like that, that's really good too. We're heading back up toward the front of the park here. We're going to go check out the zoo shop, see what kind of cool souvenirs they might have that are new or some of the cool stuff. Okay, so every time I come to the zoo shop here, I come to see and check out some of the new t-shirts they have. This is new. I think I've seen this one before. This one's... You know, I've thought about buying this. I don't know. They got all kinds of cool zoo hats. Now Jess, in one of our last videos, bought this shirt. It's pretty cool. I may or may not sometimes wear this one. Over here, they got multiple zoo plushes. Do you know if these are two for 35 also? Yep, all the ones in this row will be two for 35. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Well, keep looking. I like this one. Yeah, like so what? all the ones, all the medium sized ones on this wall are two for 35. Oh, yeah, there it is. It says it right there. Here we got the painted dogs. Pretty cool. These cute little guys. Ow. Kangaroos. Look at this. They have a little book on Fiona the Hippo. And you could get a little Fiona plush. Too cool. I really want to thank Miss Virginia Scott, the Cincinnati nursing director, and all the nurses around the country, all around the world, for helping to tackle this pandemic. They are the real heroes. We really appreciate everything they're doing. With all that being said, from the Cincinnati Zoo, I am out. And always remember the adventure is out there.